don't mind the background noise because we're vacuuming up a couple of metal shavings. Apparently the uh, bolt holes where the uh, intake goes weren't made long enough. But we're going to get this thing finished up. It all happens right now here on Mike's Motorworks. This is our induction. It is an Indy uh, single plane intake, uh, high rise with the air gap. Now, if you're looking at that coil going, oh my goodness, they built this uh, big stroker motor with all this displacement and put so much time in there with the bushings and the nice cam lift and all that good stuff. And they got this nice induction. Why the standard OEM coil? Well, this is just our test assembly here. This is just to get us by, get us through uh, break-in, and make sure that everything is sound while it goes on the engine test stand. So here are the, uh, well, the business side of the uh, intake itself where it matches up with the heads. And there's a couple of key things we want to point out. Uh, when it came from to us from Indy, uh, it pretty much was good as far as a nice wide opening and such. But um, Dad wanted to make sure that these were gasket matched. So all we had to do was simply, you see the black lines down there where we uh, had previously set up and marked where the lines were for the gasket. And we simply uh, kind of smoothed out the edges and kind of opened them just a hair, just a little bit. Now, there was some additional smoothing that was done as well. And you can kind of get a better picture over from this angle. You can kind of see here where there's a little bit more smoothing out on this side. And a little bit was taken up because there was a slight ridge in these areas, more than likely from casting. So uh, these are pretty much set, gasket matched, and it is ready to go on. Now, by this point, what we've already done is we went ahead and uh, put our oil in. You saw that at the end of the last episode. And so what we found out was uh, that, you know, when you're priming your pump, okay, because we're dealing with solid lifters and we had the smaller holes that we put in the uh, uh, cam journals and all that good stuff, um, it took some turning of the main crank to get that oil to pump through. And once we were able to confirm that we had good flow through, we were confident we can go to the next step, which is installing our intake. Now, you've seen us do this before with several of our other builds. In fact, the very first episode for Mike's Motor Works featured an intake swap where we moved the um, performer intake to a RPM performer, and we did it for the 349 stroker. So a lot of the stuff that you'll see here should be familiar with you or to you. Now, if you've never dealt with a high-rise intake or a performer intake, it's all pretty much the same process, the same steps. Now, there is one small thing that we're going to do a little bit different on this one, and I'll show you that here in just a second. This thing right here is the only thing that is different. And all this is, is just a little plastic keeper. It looks kind of like this. In fact, this is exactly what it is there. Like a little tea cap type dealy. And it goes into the side where your uh, bolts go in, stays, and it helps keep the gaskets in place. Of course, when the other one's in there, uh, it'll align fine. Now, I will admit that we had to trim this up just a little bit. So we took a little bit off the uh, edge over here on this far side, that side, and um, we had to trim a little bit off, just a simple razor blade, uh, basically just trimming the very, very tip of that guy off there. And uh, once we were able to do that, it fit nice and neat in place, allowing us to keep it retained as you see there. So as is typical for all of our intake installs, we're gonna go ahead and use Right Stuff Gasket here. And uh, you've seen us use this before. Unfortunately, the uh, can is not reusable because it's a gasket. And once it solidifies, it's done. So it is, um, yeah, not cheap if you're replacing one of these or if you have to yank yours off and uh, replace it again. They're about $12 a can? 12 a can? 
Little can. Little can for $12. $18 for the big can. So, hey, there you go. That's what you're looking at. And once it cures, you ain't reusing it. There is no switch in the nozzle. So we're going to get this thing lined up and then what I'm going to do is after we get it initially set, I'm going to hop in and help here and I'm going to put this thing on time lapse mode uh, again because we have seen this process before on my channel so there's not too much to go over and communicate. So here we go. Wait a minute guys, you're not supposed to interrupt and do an introduction segment right after you've gotten partway through another segment. What's going on? Well, when we were installing the intake for the first time, uh, there were some problems that we had noticed and didn't notice until we were ready to install it. Why didn't we notice it? Well, human error, okay? Um, so you'll you see as the uh, segment was playing, there was a lot of pieces missing off of the bottom of the intake itself. Ooh, it's still wet, you. Um, so yeah, uh, we had to order a new intake, wait for that to come in, and then um, when it came in, Pop went ahead and brought it to that same condition with the porting and uh, all that good stuff. It was ready to uh, install the, uh, the cap in the back and made sure it was ready to go just like it was previously. So brand new intake, no CNC and it went on fine. Now we didn't show that uh, uh, for various reasons, but if you want to see how an intake goes on there and the torque specs, so on and so forth, well then that's fine. We got plenty of episodes where you could check that out with. And it's the same thing as when we installed our performer intake. So go back to the first season. It's like one of our first episodes and you can see how that happens there. Now we did have a little incident and I'm gonna explain that here in a few moments that kind of kept us in the sidelines for most of, well, the winter time. And I'm gonna explain that here in a few moments. So this is the final product. By the way, say hi to dad over there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is how things are looking. We're just going to do a quick walk around. I'm not going to explain a whole lot because you've already gone and seen this through the episode. So if you missed any of this, make sure you check it out and uh, check out all the videos thus far. Now, this isn't going to be the end of this because we're going to put this on the engine test stand. We're going to explain the test stand. And then after we get it broken in, and you're going to see that process of breaking it in and all that good stuff, we are going to uh, take this thing to the dyno to see how much horsepower we are really making. So if all things go well on the stand, that's what's going to happen. But man, look at this thing. This thing is ready to pound out some horsepower and be a serious strip fighter.